Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be doing like a talk through get ready. I have a lot of new products to share with you guys today. We have the KKW concealers, the brightening powders, which I purchased and finally came in. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I have this really ginormous Rude Cosmetics eyeshadow palette, which I swatched the other day and it looked really good. So want to check that out. I want to try a bunch of different things out and kind of talk through this with you guys and let you know about products I'm also loving. So if you're interested in getting ready with me and just relaxing, then definitely keep watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and also hit that post notification bell so you know when about <laughs> so you know when I upload a video and yeah let's just go ahead and get started it's been 10 minutes I came on camera with these because I wanted them to sit before I got on camera um, it's just more convenient that way but I'm gonna go ahead and take these off so these are the eye masks that I use you get six in a pack so it's supposed to give immediate results under the eyes I will say like taking them off it feels really cooling and like refreshed and my eyes feel like just like they're ready to go so um, this is really nice so far I'm liking that I feel like you can't really go wrong with the eye mask and before we got started I did go ahead and cleanse my skin with this Dior Hydro Life Micellar Milk No Rinse Cleanser and I just used these Ulta cotton pads and I just wiped all over my face got any excess makeup off and just cleanse the skin which I love about this because I ran out of my cleanser in the shower and I was like crap I need to wash my face and I was like oh well I have that Dior out there that I could do before I start filming so that's exactly what I did <laughs> I ran out of my drunk elephant day serum so I need to get some more of that but I did also apply my C tango multivitamin eye cream and then I also tried out this origins ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer which does feel really good it's not like heavy on the skin and it has a very candy citrus scent like a gummy citrus is what it smells like so that's what I have prepped my skin with. First thing I'm going to do is apply an eyeshadow primer. And Sigma actually sent this not too long ago. It is the eyeshadow primer base from them. And it is the Persuade shade. So very pretty packaging. Just nice and sleek. This looks like it has kind of a pink tone to it. So that is what it looks like. Just looks like a regular eyeshadow primer. Very pigmented. So I'm going to apply this all over. And blend it out feels exactly like Mac paint pot blends out really easily and does even out the lid which I enjoy I'm picking my eyebrows again you guys that's why this one is like so sparse I've got to stop doing it but like when I'm stressed out I pick my eyebrows let's go ahead and start with eyes this is the rude cosmetics 35 eyeshadow palette this is the book three and this was sent to me in PR I was really excited to test it out because there's a lot of shades in here and these shades are like my kind of colors this is what it looks like I figured we could do a nice warm bronzy look of course um, but I can't help myself because honestly I'm wearing this and I just want to wear something kind of bronzy because I also have to go out so I don't want to get too crazy with it I do want to mention too one thing I've been loving is this Sonia Kashuk quick clean dry brush spray guys this is so good for spot cleaning I'm gonna take my first brush which is just like a flat brush and take this shade and we're gonna put this all over the lid I'm hoping these perform really well because I really like the colors in here. And I think this is only like $20, $21. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is go in with a blending brush. And I'm going to take this shade right here and put this into my crease. That was a little bit lighter than what I was expecting. Okay, very light shade, which is not a bad thing, but I did think it was going to be a little bit deeper. But it's good for a transition shade. I need this color, so I'm going to use this one next. Um, there's no names on this palette, just FYI. It reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Camel eyeshadow, like just looking at it. And I'm going to put this in the outer V in the crease below that first shade we used. Wow. Also, I've had a few people ask me lately about like what I've been doing about my back. If you haven't been following me for long, I was kind of like struggling with back acne and I finally just caved and went to the dermatologist because I was so tired of dealing with it and like I got to the point where it hurt a lot. I went to the dermatologist and got some medication um, and that is what I'm using now. So the medication, I don't know what it's called. You should definitely check out your dermatologist. Um, to get prescribed something that'll fit your needs. Whatever I'm using has been working for me. You know, it's just been 
life-changing <laughs> and I know that sounds dramatic but if you haven't dealt with it before you don't understand how annoying it is to want to wear like a backless top or something and just have like this annoying breakout that won't go away painful and it just sucked so I'm really happy my back is like almost completely clear and the stuff worked like immediately and I was like why have I not come to the dermatologist and I know why it's because I'm stubborn but yeah Go to your doctor. Super helpful. That next shade that I used was this one right here. That's what I went in with. You guys can kind of see the fallout on the shades. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm just really fluffing all these into the crease. I feel like that's like the easiest, quickest look. So I'm going to take this right out here. It's not as pigmented as I thought it would be. Let me try a different brush, actually. Mm, not really. Okay. That's not as intense as I would like it to be. Next, I'm going to take the very first shade, or I'm going to take the second shade we used, which was the transition shade, and just go over the edges of these. Hmm, I'm not obsessed with it. Okay, I'm going to take a really deep kind of purple-brown. In the palette and just work this right here I'm not obsessed oh no I thought I was gonna really like this palette I was swatching it the other day and it looked so good but right now it's just not working for me I'm gonna take this Mac 242 brush oh no 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 it's just not looking good. Oh no. Oh shit. Like what happened here? It's like there's like nothing here. Okay, this could be my fault, but I do not like the way this looks so far. So I'm gonna take one of the shimmer shades and try to put this in the inner part. Okay, it's pretty. Okay, we're gonna remove this and start over. We're just gonna add some stuff into the crease. Let's go ahead and take this off. That was so sad. I mean, that could, I need to try it out a little bit more. That could have just been me and how I was applying everything and the colors that I used, but I'm not feeling that at all. I'm gonna let my eyelids dry and move on to face and then I'll just throw bronzer in the crease. The darker colors really weren't as pigmented as I thought they would be. Cause like swatching them, they look so pigmented, but they just weren't working for me. So. I'll try it out a little bit more and let you guys know my hits and misses. Cause I haven't really seen too many people talk about that anyway. So I don't know if it's just my blending abilities, but you never know. It could be me. I'm going to apply my primer first because I love applying primer water and then like problematic primers to my face. Like I call them problematic because they fix all my issues. <laughs> so I am going to apply these So Chill Coconut first. I do love the original. I've gone through bottles of these. They came out with this scent and can't be away from it. So if you guys don't know, Smashbox did revamp their packaging, which is so fun. Um, they did the same for the primer water. Like, it has a different font. I've had it for forever, so I... I noticed when they changed it up. I'm working with them to show you guys this primer. I'm featuring it in this video because even though my redness has gone down, which is crazy, if you guys have watched me for a while, my rosacea used to be really, really bad. <laughs> but it's gone down, but it's good to use something like this to kind of counteract the rest of that redness so that you don't have to use as much foundation to cover up your problem areas. And even though this is a redness reducing primer, it does fill in your pores and smooth out your texture. So it's still kind of doing the same thing as this, but has an added benefit of reducing the redness as well. So I'm going to put this green primer on. So that's how green it is. It's kind of intimidating. I feel like if you're someone who doesn't know much about makeup and you squirt this out, you're like, what the? But it's supposed to be that green because you want it to counteract all of this redness. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And just look at it. It is so smooth on the skin. It really does tone down some of that redness. I have really intense redness here, but this just helps kind of take that down a bit. I am gonna put some right here in the middle of my forehead. Bada bang, bada boom. I don't know if you guys noticed when I was applying it, but it really did tone down a lot of my redness, which is great. And it is very, very 
smooth. What you could do if you didn't want to put foundation on but you have some redness and you want to counteract it, you could just put this on and no foundation, set it with a powder like a translucent one. That's just a little tip for you guys if you're dealing with redness as well and didn't want to put a full face of makeup on, you could just do that. Set it with powder and go out the door. And primer is super important for me because I do have that rosacea and I do have that redness that I really want to even out my skin. I want to fill in those pores and really smooth out that texture because rosacea can suck, okay? If I have a flare up, we'll be here for years like trying to make me look smooth okay so moving on to foundation I've been using a new foundation recently and loving it loving it I went to Mart and I was wearing this foundation and this one girl could not stop complimenting my skin and I was like okay this is my new favorite foundation she was like you look so flawless and poreless and I was like girl Thank you so much. Um, it's the Jouer Essential High Coverage Foundation. I believe this is the one that I purchased and I could not find my shade in it. And they released new shades, which is amazing. I've been able to find different shades and have them work for me. Today I'll be using the shade Honey Beige because I'm nice and self-tanned right now. And we need to match the face to the body. I'm just going to apply this. My favorite way to apply it is with the Real Technique sponge. So again, that's what we'll be using today because I cannot shut up about it. I know it's kind of like cracking for some reason I have no idea why but it's like breaking I don't know what's going on I think I use it too much I'm just gonna take that foundation and apply it all over my skin this foundation is so full coverage it's lightweight and it just feels really good on the skin okay we're just gonna really blend this out and back to the hairline I feel like applying it with this sponge just kind of makes it look really nice and smooth. It takes no time at all and then using that primer it's just a super smooth application. I really like it a lot and this foundation lasts so well throughout the day for me. It's just good you know and that's what it looks like on top of that primer. Nothing else. It looks really good. Now we need to put on some concealer and just add some dimension to this face. So I have the KKW concealers in five and six. I cannot remember how much these were, but I will leave them down below. I think I'm gonna use the shade six because I am pretty tan right now. I'm looking very yellow on camera and I don't know why. Like even my tan looks yellow. What is going on? This is what that applicator looks like. And like I said, I'm gonna use the shade six. To be honest, it looks like it has really full coverage. So I'm going to apply this all over. You get a lot of product on the doe foot. I did purchase this myself. And I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and just blend this out. And we're going to hope for full coverage. I've seen people do reviews on this, but I haven't like really, really watched to know what the coverage is like. I've just seen people's thumbnails. So we'll just see how this looks. That's actually really pretty. Wow, look at that, drab to fab, seriously. <laughs> That's actually super nice. It is very brightening, like, wow. And it's not cakey on the skin. And when I set this with powder, it's gonna be so, so, so smooth because this is more of like a medium coverage concealer for sure. I'm gonna add just a bit right here but it is brightening. I feel like the color is a little bit lighter, but it's really not that light. I like that so far. I did purchase all of her, not all of her contour kits. <laughs> not trying to spend that kind of money, but I did purchase a couple contour kits from her and I really liked them. And I didn't get the sticks because I just knew I wouldn't be obsessed with them. So it's not something that I wanted to purchase for me, you know, just for a video because they were pretty expensive. Her contour kits were pretty good. They were pretty warm. I mentioned that in the video, but they did blend out really well. They gave you like a really bronzed look. Now what I'm going to do is actually take this Palladio rice powder and we're going to set everything into place. I got this when I did a Sally Beauty video that should be up before this. If not, it'll be up soon. And I have been thoroughly enjoying it. So I'm going to go in with this Catrice Sun Lover Glow Bronzer Powder. This one's in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. And I've been really enjoying this Palladio one that kind of has a sheen to it as well. It is the Baked Bronzer in Pacific Tan. So I wanted to try this one because I saw it in my drawer. And it kind of looks like the same thing. And I just wanted to see how it looked. I'll be taking this Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. And applying this to my cheeks. Ooh, you could see an extension this entire time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can see there. It's 
So this could probably double up as your contour slash bronzer. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is contour my face. I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I've been really loving the Benefit contour powder again. It's just so good. I'm feeling very bronzed in my leopard. Ooh. Next up for blush, I'm going to be using the Benefit Gold Rush Blush. This is a warm golden nectar blush. It is new. And we'll see what I think about it. I got it and I was like, ugh. I don't know how I feel about the shimmer in it, but some say it's an overspray, so we will see. So I'm going to take a blush brush. Oh, yeah. This looks really light. That smells like, oh my god, it smells like summer. But even though it smells like summer, I'm, I'm not getting anything good here. Okay, mm, I wouldn't get that. I'm going to go ahead and just go in. I kept this to the side just in case I didn't like this blush because I had a feeling this wouldn't be my kind of color. It's just too light. So I'm going to use this one in Chic by Palladio. This is a good blush. I love it. Now we have this NYX Born to Glow. Actually, what I'm going to do is I am going to put on that KKW brightening powder and then I'll put on this highlighter. So I'm going to clean this brush right here. This is an Morphe set that I bought from Ulta. I feel like it'd be perfect for these KKW powders. So I got these KKW brightening powders. I got the shade 3 and the shade 2. I hope these are good for me. I love the packaging, by the way. I don't think I even mentioned packaging. I do really like it. It's cute. And then this one is 3, so it's like a banana color. And then two, to be honest, I ordered these so long ago, I can't remember like exactly what colors they would be. Um, and number two is more of like a peachy tone. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to go in with this one first and just see. Oh, it has a little mirror. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is really pretty. They are pretty small. I'm just going to kind of load my brush with this. Whoa. That is very brightening. I wonder if I should have done this before concealer or foundation or what am I talking about? Bronzer. <laughs> that is much brighter than this side. Okay, I want to use the banana one too. Probably going to be looking crazy, but I just want to see what it looks like. Because you guys know I love like banana tints like this. I'm actually going to try to just press this right here. Wow. These are really brightening. Let me just put some... This is a great way, like, if you don't feel comfortable highlighting your face, like the middle of your face, that's me, with highlighter, you could just use this. You can see where I put that. I really, I will probably use this a lot just to do that, to really brighten the center of the face for pictures. I'm here for this. Can't tell you which one I would use more because they both kind of look the same to me on my skin. We'll say I think I like the banana a little bit more. But I don't see that much of a difference, so I'll probably just use both anyway. So now I'm going to use this NYX Born to Glow Highlighter Palette. I have swatched this one, as you guys can see, and it looked really pretty, so I'm excited to test this out. These colors really aren't what I would go for. That's what it looks like. This reminds me of the one in the Anastasia Sugar Palette. I think it's called Marshmallow. So I'm going to go in with this gold shade first, because I kind of am feeling like a gold highlight today. And... Oh! <gasps> wow! That is gold, but that is pretty. Oh my lord. So pink. I just went like this when I did that. That's all I did. Wow. How have I not heard anybody talk about this? Do I need to watch more videos? I'm just going to blend right here on my cheeks. Oh my god, that is so pretty. I'm going to use some new CoverGirl brow pencils. These are the... That's all they are. CoverGirl brow pencils. They look like this. I want to try them out. So I have honey brown and then I also have blonde. They're definitely a thin pencil, which I like. Ever since I tried those Catrice brow pencils, I've been obsessed with brow pencils. But the Catrice are still like my ultimate favorites because they're super creamy. So far right off the bat, I've noticed the Catrice ones are more creamy than these CoverGirl ones. Just FYI, and I actually love the shade of this honey brown. It's like not too dark. It's a little bit ashy. Then I'm going to take the shade blonde, soft blonde and use this in the inner part of my brow. 
I like to line out the top because I pick so many of my eyebrow hairs at the top that I gotta quit doing it. I'm gonna have to get microblading soon if I keep picking my eyebrows. I really like these pencils. I will definitely use them again. I think they're really nice. I love the color of them. And now what I'm gonna do is go in with this Palladio Brow Styler Tinted Gel. Put this on. I love tinted gels because they kind of also help fill in any areas that maybe you didn't get that well with your brow product. Like, look at that. Ooh, that is a full, I like this color. What shade is this? Light medium, this is good. This really just kind of fills in those spaces. I'm just going to go ahead and apply these to my eyes. I'm gonna apply these to my eyes and then I'll be right back. We'll finish off our lips and then we'll be set for the entire video. So for lips, I am using a lip liner that you guys have already seen. I bought from Sally's Beauty. This is, this is not it. <laughs> This is not it. Okay, so this is the one. It's the Collab brand, and it's the Line and Define Lip Contouring Pencil. Then I also have these new Tarte. I think I'm going to use this one. The Tarte H2O Gloss in Sundress. I will not be wearing this outside, but I wanted to try it out for this video. I know a lot of you have been asking about how I've gotten so tan. I am pretty tan right now. Um, I've been mixing tanners. And I'll let you know what I think in my, what month are we in? My April Hits and Misses. really wanted to use my collab with Palladio in the center of my lip to do like a nice ombre look. Um, but I think it's in my purse <laughs> downstairs and I don't want to go all the way down there. I saw a swatch of these and they looked really pigmented so that's why I feel like I could do like the ombre look right now. This is the Tarte H2O Gloss in Sundress. This is what it looks like. I feel like it looks a little bit lighter. That's pretty much the true to color right there. And it has like little water droplets on the lid and it's just really, really pretty. I'm just a matte lip kind of girl though, you know? Like, I like this gloss, but it'll be off. Like, right after this video. Very glossy, wow. It looks like those pictures on Instagram when the lips are so glossy that they look fake. That is literally what this looks like. It is so glossy. I do like that gloss. If you're in an area where it's like not super, super windy and you just love gloss in general, I think you would really like this. Um, it is more of a thicker gloss. I feel like this would last for such a long time on my lips. I mean, obviously eating and drinking, it's gonna come off, but I don't know, it's like so thick that I, I mean, it's not super thick where it's like sticky, but I feel like it's gonna stay there for a while, you know? Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming it and I like the look that I got out of it even though I had to take off my eyeshadow. I even went back in with this Rude Cosmetics palette and I tried to go in with this super dark brown for my uh, lower lash line because I wanted to see like if I used a pretty densely packed brush to try to put it on and it just it wasn't pigmented enough. Um, but I think maybe the shimmery shades would be better in this palette, not so much the matte. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.